Welcome to Hawkins Motors and the new Citroen C5 Aircross plug-in hybrid. So the C5 Aircross just got better because now it's got a electric engine in there as well, um, which we'll go into in a little bit, a little bit more depth. But as you can see, the, the front of the car, it's a, it's a full size SUV. So we've got plenty of space uh, joining us around to the side. We now have custom color pack. So the, the hybrid uh, uh, comes in the blue color pack there on the side, which is accented along the side with the Citroen air bump, which we're seeing more and more of now. And you join me through to the end of the car. The idea with a plug-in hybrid is that you can charge it up at home or when the car is parked up. Um, only takes two hours to charge up from a pod point or a, a wall box, um, which we would recommend. Um, and then you've got, the idea is you've got your weekday driving. So you've got your commute, you've got your school run. And the idea is you do that on your electrics because we've got up to 34 miles of range on electric. And then at the weekend, also in there is obviously your petrol engine um, for your longer journeys. So this is the C5 Aircross and also the Flare Plus model, which gives you a motorized boot, which is lovely. Making it easier to uh, get your shopping in and out and things like that. The C5 Aircross obviously has absolutely loads of space in the back. Now the rear seats are slidable if you wanted a little bit more space and you didn't have uh, passengers in the back, or obviously you can move them back if the passengers are in the back. Plenty of space as it is and then handy little storage units for your charging cables uh, which you can obviously take with you. So welcome to the interior cabin of the plug-in hybrid C5 Aircross. Um, a very very nice place to be, full leather, we've even got leather dash as well. Um, obviously because it's a plug-in hybrid we have an automatic gearbox. Now this is a petrol 180 horsepower uh, engine in here. Combined with the electric engine, it actually gives us 222 brake horsepower, so a lot of power. Self-regenerating as well, so when our foot's on the brake, it will charge the batteries that are in there. One of the positives of having a plug-in hybrid vehicle is that you can pre what Citroen call precondition the vehicle. So you can set the timings on there to say, I'm gonna jump in my car at eight o'clock in the morning, and I want it to be at 21 degrees for me to jump in and, and head off to work. And you can set that on the system inside with your while the car is plugged in overnight. A nice digital display on the front there, which has its own specific hybrid mode, um, which, is, uh, which helps, shows you what emissions you're giving out, um, very little obviously, and your range left on your charge. So this, this model is the leather seated model, which are also heated. Um, plenty of space in the cabin and obviously storage compartments throughout as well. Three different drive modes. We've got full electric, we've got hybrid, where the car chooses what uh, engine you should be using, and then we've got sport, which will use both engines and give you all of that horsepower. Cruise control, digital radio, Apple CarPlay, all there as standard. So this is really, really is a, a top spec car. Um, there's not anything here that you'll be missing. There's up to 19 driving aids with the car as well. Things like speed limit recognition, um, your lane keep assist system, which can be switched off. Thank you for joining us on the walk round around the Citroen C5 Aircross plug-in hybrid, ready to view at Hawkins Motors when you are.